Hello guys, Kaysaya here once more for another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to teach you on how to add WBNB in your MetaMask wallet and finally be able to purchase something from the marketplace of Pidan Arena. So yeah, let's get it on. So for me, this is what I actually do. I go to Binance. Dot com from here you can see some options on the upper left part of the screen on the website the menu there is the buy crypto in there you can also click the buy now, buy now button uh, in order for you to like you know buy something faster like if you're in a rush or something in here just you know input the amount that you wanna you wanna spend so in this case, of course, we want to like spend fiat from your currency. So in this case, since I'm from the Philippines, I'm going to be spending 10,000 pesos in here. So, oh, by the way, there's a lot of ways for you guys to, to buy crypto in Binance. So um, just for quick tutorial, I just selected the option to buy from fiat from my directly from my bank account from my prepaid card so yeah it's really up to you there's option to to buy as well from gcash and many other ways so you just explore this uh click buy crypto from the upper left part of the screen and then select the option that you will want to choose so yeah in this case um actually ended up deciding to just you know receiving Closing it to 200 BSU day, and then I, of course, went to proceed on that one. And then look at that, look at that. We can see the other options. So, usually, bank transfers, GCash, pay my are cheaper ones. So, uh, if you want to like um, save some more pennies, then I just go for the option. You're gonna be transacting real time with another person. So it depends, you have to check because there are transactions that can take a, uh, in a few minutes. There are also transactions that you have to wait the next day or something. So you have to read, you have to be, uh, you have to be eager about reading some details. You can just click, click, click. You cannot, you cannot, or you'll end up, you know, messing things up. So yeah, um, but this one, I just went to proceed on making use of my pre prepaid card. And then, yeah, when to continue. And then I confirmed my order. So as you can see, there's some fees involved in here as well. So you have to make sure you have some extra. Um, have some extra, of course, into covering that. And yeah, wait for it to get process and then it shows in here that your purchase is complete and that's good you go back to your wallet and then you check that one out and then yeah once you click in here you can see a lot of different options but just clicking the overview is fine as well before you actually do this guys do not forget to add busd and uh, wbnb in your metamask wallet it's very easy to do i'm gonna show you so this is how you add WBNB and BUSD in your MetaMask. You basically just have to click the import tokens again. And then instead of custom token, you just search it up, search for BUSD and that's it. You just click it and then next and then import. In this case, it shows that it's already added in my wallet. So you can see it as like, it's like in, in color gray or something. So... And that's the uh, same thing that you gotta do with WBNB. Just search it up and then um, that's it. Just click next, import. So yeah. And then you're good to go. You'll see that your WBNB and BUSD are already in your wallet. So again, make sure before you transfer from Binance to your MetaMask wallet, at least it already has these tokens, all right? Or else, I don't know. I don't know what will happen. It, it might get lost. <laughs> it might get lost. From your wallet overview, you can um, find, of course, the transaction that you did. So in this case, I have in here BUSD that, of course, that I would want to withdraw. So from that row, BUSD, um, you click the withdraw. 
a link or button and then I already set up an address book in here so you can you can uh, either of course uh, just enter a new address or from your own address so in this case I just uh, I already saved my feed and arena address but I'm gonna show you first how what how I actually set this one up so you don't get lost so I would suggest having uh, your addresses managed because again there's a lot of you know hacking tools phishing sites so you would want to like make sure that you are actually pasting the correct address or you know you wouldn't know you pasted something then you thought it's your address but apparently it just you know it just uh, something else got pasted and you're actually sending to a different wallet rather than yours so um it's best to have an address book set up so basically you manage your addresses click address management and then it will send you to a new screen and then just click add address and then you know you label it you name it something that's easily identifiable for you in this case i wrote in here theton arena um so i can uh, you know recognize it easier so so uh, in the coin just if, if your wallet if this wallet actually has a lot of different coins so it's best to just click set as universal address without specific coins so um like for example in your Feed and Arena MetaMask wallet, you have like several different points. You have THG, you have THC, and of course, you gotta have BUSD in there as well. So, this one is of course checked. So, yeah, and then of course, you copy paste your address in here and then select the network. The network should be BSC or Binance Smart Chain. And then for the address origin, since you've created from MetaMask, click the wallet address and then and select a MetaMask from there. Okay, that's where you created it. Then click OK and then click Save. And then, of course, because my account is well protected, and always do that to your Binance account. Add two factor authentication code so you don't get hacked or anything. So, once everything is done, your wallet is now in your addresses. And then you basically just go back into, into your wallet in order for you to forward your BUSD into your MetaMask wallet. So after withdrawing from Binance to your MetaMask wallet address, you just have to be be patient. You just have to be patient because it could take like a few minutes, like maybe up until five minutes. And then you'll get notification. If you have Binance on your phone, you'll get notification that uh, the transaction has been completed and was successful. So once you get that, you know, at least uh, your nervousness will be gone already. Um, and that's when you can actually take a look that your BUSD already being already in your MetaMask. So this time it's not there yet. I had to wait for a few more minutes. But, but once your BUSD is already in your MetaMask wallet, then this is a time you swap it from BUSD to WBNB because the feed and marketplace requires you to buy using WBNB. So what you do is actually you can swap from MetaMask, but the gas fee there is quite higher than Pancake Swap. So I prefer to use Pancake Pancake Swap instead. So you go to Pancake Swap that finance slash swap, and then you connect your wallet, and then make sure you are connecting the correct wallet so it detects your BUSD so from here once you visit the website you then can proceed into swapping your BUSD into WBNB all right so this one I'm just refreshing so once it it's there just type in the of course you have to make sure that it is sorry BUSD that's what I mean BUSD to WBNB all right, so you, you update the settings, the swap settings, and then as you can see in here, it will, if you click max, or you just basically uh, write the number, the figures that you would want to make you. So click swap once everything is set up and then confirm the swap. You double check everything. Before you click any button, you always double check or we read this thing. So once you click that, MetaMask will pop up again and then just confirm everything. And then 
wait for it to finish its processing so this one could also take some time it depends on how much congested pancake swap is so this time i just had to like wait 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 and then there you go after waiting after being patient you can see that the transaction has been completed and that was it you can now see well don't get nervous if you see all this because you can just like maybe you can restart your browser refresh your metamask or something so in there i just you know close some tabs and then just refresh i'll tab i'll tab or something and then i saw my 0.6 something wbnb in there and that's when i start to select again what nft hero i would want to buy from the nft marketplace in here in the marketplace so in the early stages of the from the official launch of uh, feed and arena their marketplace actually currently having a problem so if in case you are encountering is an issue like this where it says uh, insufficient funds but you already have enough funds or maybe the gas fee is super high it means the item from the marketplace was actually already bought but apparently it doesn't get removed from the marketplace so it's a known bug that the developers are actually already working on a fix so you just have to be patient so what i would suggest is just like instead of like sorting from cheapest item you just sort uh to latest so this one i sorted out into latest instead and i just took an nft hero that is actually that, that i can actually buy it's the vein cap because i saw that okay the skin is rare and then the gthc battle is zero and i have enough wbnb i'm gonna show you something in the marketplace by the way so in here in the marketplace you can see i'm checking out different heroes in here and i'm i'm always taking a look at the gth c battle so what happens if your nft hero already maxed out its gth battles basically you won't be able to get thc per from each battles anymore because it already maxed out each uh, its uh, gth battle so but of course Thetan explained something about that and it's gonna be a feature in the future and once you've decided on what you want to buy already just of course click buy now and then once you've clicked buy now you can check it out just double check everything um your metamask will pop up again then confirm the transaction as well so this one is good to go no problem um it doesn't show a very very high gas fee so meaning it's still available in the market in a marketplace so just confirm it wait for everything to get processed it might take a while sometimes the uh, like some errors appear or something so like in this case i believe i i received an error Oh no, I did not receive an error in this one, but yeah, it got completed. So in case you received an error, just, you know, just refresh, don't panic, and then yeah, transaction is completed. So after buying, where do you see your NFT? You will see it. Click your avatar in the upper right part of the screen, and then uh, click inventory, and then once uh, in the inventory screen, you can see all your NFT items so yeah and in the game as well you can see it already too so yeah here's the capture from the game and you just basically go to your hero and then shulala hold on you can't see it shulala you can finally see your nft heroes oops let's just uh, show you that so i have like two nft heroes in this account Venka and the breaker and as you can see it, it, this is no longer a non-gth hero so that's so cool and i hope you guys learned something from this video i hope this video helps um if you are still confused in some parts please don't hesitate to comment down below this youtube video and or if you have any tutorial requests in the future just let me know. 
I'll try my best to do it. And yeah, don't forget to follow me in all of my social media pages. I post a lot, I post a lot of NFT, crypto, esports, and gaming stuff. So if you are also into it, make sure you give me a follow. And of course, don't forget to turn the notification bell on in this YouTube channel so you get updated every now and then. So for the meantime, I'm gonna say bye-bye and see you guys in the next video. Bye!